Hey everybody, so I'm back now and I've got my selection with Rebecca here and um, I've got a couple of different approaches to uh, adding her image to another image, in other words changing the background. Um, so first let me start off with this. Um, after I've got my selection made, uh, one way to do this would be to select the move tool up here and simply grab on Rebecca and drag her into the other image. Let go. Rebecca appears in the other image and I can move her around and such. Um, now, uh, that's one way to do it. back up. Another way to do it is simply hit copy or control C, command C, and then go over to this image and now I'm going to go to edit and paste or I could just get command V. Again, it's doing the same thing. Now I want to point out here once you get this another image into the image you want to combine with, um, have your move tool selected and you can move it around position it where you want it to um, I can also use while I've got that move tool selected I can use my arrow keys if I want to make some fine tune adjustments to that okay now if you notice the layer with Rebecca here does not have a layer mask I can go into here and go to layer down to layer mask and go reveal all and now what it's going to do is going to give me a layer mask now I might find this useful if I have wanted to um, fine-tune it after I've got it in this image and, and maybe I'm noticing that um, that hair up there on the top right looks a little funny I can go in here with my brush sorry make sure I've got black selected on my brush, make sure my mask is highlighted, not like that, but like that. And I can go in here with my brush and I can paint in here a little bit and I can kind of feather that in a little bit better if I wanted to. So anyway, there we go. So that's, that's one way to combine uh, these images from one image to another image. Um, and I'm going to do a separate short video and show you, uh, we'll go over again about how to replicate something from one image and uh, add it to another. In fact, I tell you what, I see we can do it here with this one. So I am going to uh, close out of Rebecca up there need that anymore taking up all my precious memory on this tiny old laptop and I'm going to toss that layer away so now we've got this image so let's say let's say I wanted more trees in here I like the trees coming up here in the background but I wanted a few more maybe I've got a little bare spot in here let's say I can simply go in here with a selection tool select some more trees however you select it, it doesn't matter you don't have to use the lasso tool you can use anything any selection tool once you've got your selection go to copy go to edit and paste now notice what's happened our image has not changed at all it looks exactly the same but I've got a new layer over here well, that new layer is what I've just pasted onto it. It's laying exactly on the place where I copied it from. So I'm going to go over my Move tool, and now you'll see I'll be able to move it. And I've got some more trees in here now. I can move it over. I like where it is, but I've got this, this real sharp edge that I've created all around here, all along this new 
selection. So just like I did before with Rebecca, I'm going to go in here, go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. Again, I've got to make sure that this, this layer is selected, otherwise the layer mask wouldn't appear there. It would appear down in my background layer. Make sure it's highlighted. Brush color set, foreground color set to black. Select my brush, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to feather out. I'm going to go ahead and set it up to 100%. And I'm going to kind of blend this in a little bit. Might have to reduce the opacity, blend it a little bit more. Back in here. Doesn't look too bad. Um, so I'll turn the layer on and off. You can see what I did. Created some more truth. Oh, look what I did. There's a real sharp edge down there. I forgot to take care of that. Again, I can just paint that over. There, it's pretty good. There it is, on and off. Now, one of the things that I really encourage you to do before you finally close out your, your image is to zoom in and do a very close study of wherever you've been working on. And sometimes you might have to do this over all the image because I'll show you, I just saw something. See it right there? See that, see that sharp edge? So I didn't notice it before, but now all of a sudden when I zoom in, I can see that. So I've got to do a little bit more painting. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to blend that in a little bit better. Get rid of that, that edge. So there we are. Um, just to the tip. Make sure to zoom in at the end and uh, check for the little artifacts that you might have created accidentally. Um, that's it. Uh, good luck with the assignment. Uh, please give me a call or email me if you have any questions, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.